Hi everyone, Mimsy here. Are you thinking of making draperies for your house and just don't know really where to start but you want your drapes to look custom and high-end? Well, this video is for you. This is a video series on how to make custom drapes. This particular video, I'm going to show you how to measure and calculate your yardage for your drapes. Uh, but first, you've got to decide on three things before you can even take out your tape measure. So the first thing that you need to decide is what type of header you're going to do or how you're going to hang your drapes, really. Um, are you going to hang them on a rod and rings? Are you going to use ring clips or uh, drapery hooks? Will you put them on the shirt on the rod, just make a rod pocket and put the curtain right on the rod? Or are you going to use a hospital track hung on the ceiling so that you can just slide your drapes open and close quite easily? Or is it for a, um, a shower? You've got to decide how you're going to hang your drapes, first of all, um, before you can measure because you want to measure from your rod and rings or whatever you're going to use to hang your drapes. You want to measure right from that so you can get the most accurate measurement. So that's best practice is once you've decided the style that you want is to go ahead and hang your rod and then just measure right from the rod or the bottom of the rings. Um, the second thing that you've got to decide before you can even measure for your drapery is how you want your curtains to hit the floor. Do you want them to be floor length where they're just right at the floor, just above the floor by a couple centimeters? That's my preference. I like to keep them up off the floor just a hair so that they don't collect dust and get dirty. Or do you want your drapes to be trouser length where they hit the floor and just break slightly at the floor? So they're actually sitting on the floor and have that break just like a pair of pants. Um, that's trouser length. Or do you want your drapes to actually puddle on the floor? Do you want to have six inches on the floor, eight inches on the floor? It's all personal preference. Uh, it just depends upon the look that you're going for, but you have to decide that before you can measure. The third thing that you have to decide is, are your drapes going to be operable? Meaning, will they open and close and are you going to use them for, for privacy? Or are your drapes just going to be stationary and decorative on each side of your window? You have blinds on your window or you just don't need privacy. Because if you're going to open and close your drapes and you need them for privacy, you want to have enough fullness in your drapes that they are going to actually cover your window without being pulled completely flat across your window like a sheet. You want to have some fullness in your drapes. And the standard fullness um, that a drapery, a custom drapery workroom would make your drapes would either be two times, two and a half times, or three times the fullness of your window. So what that means is if your window is 36 inches and you're going to make your drapes two times fullness, then you need 72 inches of fabric to cover your window so that you still have a little bit of a you know, a little bit of a curve when you close your drapes so that your drapes are not just completely flat across your window. So that's what um, is meant by fullness. And I do have a uh, drapery worksheet here that you can download. I will put it in the description box below. Um, and this drapery worksheet will walk you through taking your measurements the fullness of your curtains, depending upon how full you want them, you just fill out this drapery worksheet and it will tell you how many widths of fabric you need and how many um, yards you're going to need at the end. So um, just download this drapery worksheet, fill it out, and it'll give you all the information. But let me show you um, how you're going to go about the measuring. So you're going to grab your metal tape measure and uh, your drapery worksheet here and you're going to measure from the floor up to, if you're doing rod and rings like I am, you're going to measure from the floor right up to the bottom of your ring. The bottom of my ring is at 86 inches. So I'm going to put 86 inches on my worksheet for the finished length of my drape because that's the finished length is from the bottom of my ring to the floor because I personally want my drapes to just barely be right above the floor. If you want your drapes to be trouser length, you want to give yourself another 
inch to two inches on the floor. And if you want puddle, you can add as much as you feel like you want eight inches, 12 inches, whatever you feel like you want to have on the floor. That's your finished length. Then you're going to measure the width of your window. So you're going to measure from the inside of your window to the inside of the other frame of your window. Now you have to, uh, be, when you measure, when you uh, put your rod up, you want to leave enough space on your wall to have some room for your stack back, which is the gathered up fabric. When your drapes are open all the way and they're gathered up on the side, this is called your stack back or your stacking. If you have one width of fabric, a 54 inch width of fabric, which is what this is. I made these drapes for a different room in my house and have not sewn them together. This is one width of fabric, 54 inches, and this takes approximately 12 inches of stack back. Um, this is actually a width and a half, and this takes about 15 to 18 inches of stack back. If I was just gonna use a width, a width and a half here, I would spread them out slightly so that they take up a little bit more space. That's 18 inches right there. So you want most of your stack back to be on the wall because you don't want the draperies to cover too much of your window and block all your natural light. I like to have mine in front of my door a little bit. This is a sliding glass door, so I like it to cover my hardware in the frame of the door, but not a whole lot of the window. So that's one thing that you have to consider when you're putting up your rod is you want to put your rod wide enough that you have space for your stack back on the wall. Um, also, your height of your rod, that's all personal preference. The trend right now is high and wide, and that's all good. Um, sometimes too high, it doesn't relate to the window anymore, but that's, that's personal preference, how high you want to put your rod. Mine is basically right underneath the ceiling because I have really low ceilings. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this uh, drapery worksheet real quick. So it's asking you to fill in your window width. So obviously you put that, you put your stacking in there if you want to have um, space on your wall to stack. So you might want to do 12 inches to 18 inches if you're going three times fullest, maybe even 24 inches if you have a really wide window, a sliding glass door or something like that. And that'll give you your rod length. And then you're going to um, put your fullness in there, two, two and a half, three, three and a half times fullness. And then it'll ask you for your overlap and your returns. So your return is this part here. Now, I do not have mine returning to the wall because I don't see these drapes from the edge. If this was in my living room and you, you could see the edge of your drape, you would want to have this return back to the wall. And that would be four inch return right there. You would attach the top of that corner to the wall so that this piece of fabric returns to the wall and you can't see in behind your curtain. This would be very helpful um, for a bedroom situation where you don't want any light coming in on the side of your drapes. So you add in your full, your returns and your center overlap. If you're using a drapery, a traversing drapery rod where it is the mechanical kind that you pull and it closes for you, there will be an overlap in the center on that. So your drapes will overlap in the center. So if you're using a traversing rod, you'll want to also calculate an overlap on here. And then that'll give you the number of widths of fabric you need. And then it goes into your cut length and you just basically follow the directions on the cut length, put your widths down here, and it'll tell you how many yards of fabric you're gonna need total for your project. And then there is a, this drawing here so that you can go ahead and fill out the numbers on here. You can measure your window, fill out these numbers, and then it makes this really easy to fill out. And then of course it gives you the lining information as well. So that's how you measure your window to calculate yardage for making custom draperies. So um, go ahead and download this drapery worksheet and you'll be set to go. And check out the next video on buckram. What is it and why do you need it?